Welcome morning everyone. Hope you are doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. So I recently shared on this channel a video detailing my meetup with Peter J, a popular member in our community and a loyal subscriber to this channel. And in that video, I referenced that we met up at the Maxton Coin Store located on Collins Street in the heart of the city. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, this is what I'll be sharing with all of you today. Now, Maxton is a very well established and popular coin store in Melbourne. I actually visited the store a couple of times before, picking up quite a number of coins for my own collection. And for this video, I'll share with you what are the coins that I picked up during my meetup with Peter J. Coming up next is a quick tour of Maxton. Then I'll show you what are the coins that I picked up. But before we get to all of that, I'd just like to put it out there that I do have a crowdfunding page on Buy Me A Coffee the link of which you can find in the description text of my YouTube homepage. So go ahead and click on that, go and have a look. And I would appreciate any support that you guys can give as this channel here is not monetized. Okay, with that all done, let's take a look at the Maxton Coin Store located in Melbourne of Australia. All right, we're back. Thank you for staying on. Hope you enjoyed that quick tour of Maxton. So here's the first item that I picked up. This is a dance score coin album. Uh, this album here is meant for silver dollars. And this is actually the first dance score album that I have in my own collection. This dance score album is specifically meant for the American Morgan 
Peace and Eisenhower Dollars. And if we take a look inside, you can see that this album is almost brand new, practically unused. I don't actually collect all those three coins that I just mentioned. And the reason why I picked up this album is because it was uh, designed so that you can pick and choose uh, which coins you like to collect. Uh, there are no labeling on the sheets in the album. And because of that, I thought that this would make a great addition to my collection. And I'll probably use this for an upcoming project. I will share more about that project in an upcoming video. So stay tuned to this channel. But the next item that I picked up is this really mint condition Australian $1.5 coin set that was uh, issued in 1992 by the Royal Australian Mint and inside this set there are 5 $1 coins All these coins are restriped and just over the top here we have the coin from 1984 and 1985 with the Marlboro's design right on the reverse while down here we can see the 1986, a year of peace coin, the 1988, a first fleet bicentenary coin, and just down here, in 1992, Barcelona Olympic coins. A really a wonderful set and a great score from Max Stern. Moving on, I have this coin here from the Royal Australian Mint, 50 cent Tetradecagon, a lunar coin series. This coin was on sale at Max Stern. And this is the 2020 Lunar Year of the Red in mint condition. Here you can see the Tetradecagon coin. And Maxton had these coins listed for just 10 Australian dollars. We come now to the coin, which is the latest coin for the 50 cent Tetradecagon series from the Royal Australian Mint. This is something that I really wanted to add to my collection and I had my eye on this uh, before I actually stepped into Maxon. Okay, so what we have over here is the 50 cent Tetradecagon coin for this year 2024 for the lunar year of the dragon. The great thing about these coins is the new packaging that they are in. Unlike the previous uh, Tetradecagon coins, which come in the folder, uh, these coins are now issued in these uh, criticized cards, which I think really looks nice. And from what I can see in the coin collecting scene, uh, these coins are extremely popular with collectors of Australian coins. Uh, most of the stores that are selling these coins are limiting the number of coins for each customer to just one. And a lot of the stores are showing that these coins are currently uh, sold out. It was the same with Maxton, with each customer being limited to just one dragon coin. However, Peter J was very kind to purchase one coin for himself and he gave that coin to me. So now I have two of these dragon coins in my collection. So thank you very much, uh, Peter J. Just to quickly share before I move on to the next item, uh, these Australian Tetradecagon Lunar Coins were started in 2012 with the Lunar Year of the Dragon. So this is the new cycle for this Luna series, which is probably why uh, the packaging for them has changed. And to me, uh, these uh, packaging make these coins uh, look so much nicer. And I'll be looking forward to collect all the other coins that are gonna come uh, from the Royal Australian Mint for this new series. Now I do have several of the coins from the previous series, and I'll do a more in-depth review of all these coins in an upcoming video. We come now to the next item that I also had my eye on before I visited Maxton. And the item is in this bag of here. And this is a graded coin, graded by PCGS. This being the $2 colored 5 Fighters coin for 2020. This is the unsuppleted version of the 5 Fighter coin, having a vintage of 1.6 million. And while the grade on this coin, uh, this coin achieved a grade of mistake 64, it's not that fantastic. I purchased this coin for two primary reasons, the first of which is the price. Uh, Maxton had this coin uh, listed for just 40 Australian dollars, so I thought that was a really great deal. And the second reason is that I do have the C Neymar version of this coin that has already been graded. This coin achieved a higher grade on Mint State 67. And you can see the C Neymar just over here. Uh, let me just uh, zoom in. 
right there on the left side of the coin which is different from this coin here which does not have the C Nimma by having now a squad both these uh, PCGS graded coin and I'll have the complete set so here are the coins and albums that I picked up from Maxton I'd like to thank uh, Peter J again for joining me uh, during my visit to that coin store as well as for this uh, wonderful uh, 50 cent Tetradecagon Year of the Dragon coin which he gave to me to add to my collection in addition to these, I did pick up a couple of silver bullion coins. Uh, these are koala coins, but they are not from the Perth Mint. And I'll share more about that in an uh, upcoming video. So stay tuned to that if you are interested to find out more. And with that, I guess that will do it for this coin store visit video. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you all please take care, be safe and have a nice day.